Prince Harry found the most suitable person he had ever had in his life in the shape of ex-girlfriend Cressida Bonas before he met Meghan Markle, royal biographer Chris Hutchins claimed in a newly resurfaced documentary. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex not only celebrated their one-year anniversary last month, but also welcomed into the world their first son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor. Meghan and Harry's relationship has moved incredibly quickly compared to other couples in the royal family. In July 2016, Meghan was strolling around London when she was randomly introduced to Harry by a mutual friend and they both claimed to have experienced love at first sight. Less than two years after, on November 27, 2017, the Prince of Wales announced that the two were engaged. Despite the couple always showing affection for each other, from their first public outing to finally introducing baby Archie to the world, both had been in serious relationships before they met. Meghan was married to film director Trevor Engelson for around two years, while Harry was in long-term relationships with Chelsea Davy and Cressida Bonas. In 2014 ITV documentary Prince Harry at 30, the Duke of Sussex's biographer Chris Hutchins looked back at the prince's previous relationships. In 2012, Princess Eugenie introduced Harry to Cressida and the two lasted two years. Both Chelsea and Cressida were in attendance at Windsor Castle for Prince Harry and Meghan's royal wedding last year. Mr. Hutchins said about the model, she is the most suitable person he has ever had in his life. Cressida's love for Harry came not from the fact he was the Queen's grandson. She wasn't interested in that, she comes from a very grand ancestry herself. The fly in the ointment was he would have married her for sure by now, but she had no wishes to be a princess. Royal correspondent Chrissy Reeves added, she didn't really seem to like the press. The only time we saw her pose was just on one occasion at an event and she was very much dressed down with skinny jeans and trainers. Unlike Cressida, Meghan appears to be enjoying the attention from the media. Royal filmmaker Nick Bulletin recently told Fox News she will be taking a very short maternity leave because she wants to get back to her charity work as quickly as possible. He said, she's aware of the media attention she possesses and she's not afraid to use it. Regarding the growing media spectacle surrounding her life, he added, my understanding from people who know her well and work with her, she's handling it very well. She knew what she was marrying into, this is not a girl who was unaware of the power of the press. I think in like a 19-year-old lady Diana Spencer from all those years ago, who was overwhelmed with the attention, Meghan knew what she was getting into. I think it was possibly bigger than what she realized, but my understanding from people who knew her years ago and people who are working with her now, she's handling it very well. In fact, she's enjoying it. This is what she thrives on.